Hello and welcome to chapter 5, part 7. In this part we'll be working on our main menu. This will be the start of the game where the player has a choice to start a new game or load from their save file. So to do that we need to make a whole new level. So we're going to go into my maps folder and make a new level. So right click, add new level. We call this one main menu. We're going to open this up and click save selected. And in here, we're going to set up the level pretty much the same as we set up our original level. So I'm going to add in a sky sphere and a sky light. Also going to add in a directional light. And I'm just going to select all three of these and put them into the center. So zero, zero, zero. Okay. I'm going to click on my sky sphere and tell it to use my directional light. Like so. So all this stuff is stuff we've done in the first chapter. So in, what we're going to do in here is we're going to build a little set for our main menu. So let's drag in a bit of geometry. Box there. Set to 0, 0, 0. And set its size to say 1000, 1000, 20. We're going to drag on a material or choose one from the list called floor mat. And we're going to, as I say, build a little set. So it's only going to be viewed from one perspective with a fixed camera. So we don't have to go into massive detail. So I'm just going to drag in a couple of meshes to do this. So let's drag in a wall mesh. The lighting is a bit weird because of the skylight. That will be fixed in a moment. When we build the lighting, just notice my snap's not turned on. Let's turn that on. Okay, so I can duplicate that out again. Rotate that and position it like so. Let's change it to 50. And I'll put that there like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place a camera now. So let's get a camera out and position that into our scene. So with it selected, I want to right click on it and I want to pilot camera actor. Now I can actually get a much more accurate position for our camera view. So I'm going to do a little camera view like this. I'll hit the eject button in the top left to leave that camera where it is. So I'm going to continue dressing up the scene. So I'm just going to place a few things in here. So I'm going to start off by placing the gold platform at the end there. I'm also going to put in uh, a key platform here. Okay, and we're going to do some grass. Just position and decorate my scene a little bit. Click on your camera and you're going to check your camera view here. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. And I'll just right click and pilot it again. I'm going to position just rotation a little bit. Let's change that camera speed a little bit. 
so we can get much more refined movement. So I'll make sure I get this gold skull in there. There we go, and I can eject that out of there. So just want to make sure that this camera position viewport is what we want. Okay, and we're just gonna drag one of these in. Right, let's tilt that over onto the floor. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, let's see if we well it looks like we drag one of these across. Okay. And another one. Click on the camera to get a feel of what that scene is looking like. Okay, not bad. Okay, so that's the scene set up. I'm going to now build that lighting and wait for it to be built. Okay, so with the lighting built, if I click play on it, you'll notice that I can just fly around the whole entire thing. That's not what I want. I want it to be fixed so I can't do nothing in this in this scene. So I'm going to go to my blueprints and go to open level blueprint. This is the blueprint associated to the whole entire map. Now these things are typically related to in-game events and triggers. In the case of this level, it's a menu level. So I don't want it to do anything apart from fix the player's movement down. So on begin play, we're going to get the player controller and set its input mode to UI only and click compile if I hit play I can't move now I'm fixed okay however I'm not possessing this camera so with that camera selected we're going to go into our blueprint again with it selected we can right click our level blueprint and see create a reference to camera actor now to tell it to look view this we need the player controller so drag out from the return value from the player controller and we're going to use set view target with blend play that to the end and the new view target will be that camera actor the blend time it can set to zero because that's how long it's going to take to blend between what it's currently viewing to what its new target is which is the camera so we want it to be instant, so zero is what's going to do that. And because it's instant, the rest of it doesn't matter. So click compile and let's play. And there is our view. So what's next is we actually may need to make the actual menu itself. So join us in the next part, in part eight, where we add the menu and its functionality. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.